Okay. So we talked about the New York Stock Exchange and the NASDAQ last time and how it was this crazy auction house thing. And they found that there are two behaviors, there are two types of investors. Okay. The first type is called institutional investors. Institutional investors. Okay. Institutional investors are investors who trade large volumes of stock on behalf of large institutions. Okay, this would be the people that handle, um, these are the people who trade for pension funds, mutual funds, IRAs. They're the ones doing the investing for these types of organizations. Okay, that's one type. The second type is the individual investor. And it is that, it's exactly what it sounds like. They are the ones who are trading for themselves. So institutional investors would be companies like Charles Schwab, Edward Jones, these financial organizations that are representing big blocks of investors below them. So they're acting as an intermediate between the stock market and the people whose money it is. And then there's just the little guy who does their own trades. Okay. We okay with that? Remember to go back, you do shift tab. Okay. Stocks are traded to make a profit. That is the goal, to make a profit. Um, what do we mean by profit? What what does that mean? Make a profit. Um, they're equally common, Glenn. It's just they're representing two parts of the whole. There's a whole bunch of little guys out there trading for themselves, and then there's big organizations trading for these pension funds and mutual funds and things like that. So what does it mean to make a profit? When we say the phrase make a profit, what are we trying to say? Mm -hmm. It's earn money. Well, let's see, I wanna reword it differently. I like how it says here. It's extra money after you subtract the cost of the stock. So with that in mind, the goal of trading stocks is to buy low and sell high. Now, this is a judgment call on what's considered low and what's considered high. Okay. And can be tiring to monitor. 
okay? As you probably have figured out with your game, <clears throat> it's not so easy to keep track of it, you know? Prices of stock go up and down based on a company's success. <coughs> Pardon me. All right. So, and this can happen hourly even, from one minute to the next. You could have a company that's doing really well, and then they release a report that says they earned less money this quarter than last quarter, and their stock can drop in the matter of a second because a report got released that said, actually, they're not doing as good as they thought they would. Because what these companies do is they make projections about how much they're going to earn each quarter of the year. And then they do a report that says, how well did they guess? How well did they project? And <clears throat> those reports can make or break a company. Those reports are public and they're required to be public. They're financial documentation of companies traded on the stock market. At any moment, you can ask to see the financial backup for the company's valuation, okay? Because that's one of the things they agree to when they go public, that they're gonna open their books to the public. They're gonna let the public see how well they're doing. That's why some of their little companies, they don't wanna do that. They don't want people being nosy about their business. So they keep it within their friend pool. Friend pool. Remember we talked about those private investors and they don't go public, okay? So the prices of the stock go up and down based on the company's success and can change from minute to minute. Okay, based on the reports, based on financial reports they release. All right. So you need to watch for a good company. that is about to have a big success. So then their stock will increase. So you're kind of watching these companies out there and keeping track of these companies out there and going, well, this little company here They've been steadily increasing. And I just read in the paper that they're planning, planning on doing a big expansion of their warehousing or their distribution or because they put out these reports and you can find them. Okay. That's the kind of company you want to get in on. The ones that they've been doing adequate, but then there's big news that something's about ready to happen. Okay, those are the ones you want to buy. Those are the ones you can buy low. Okay. Um, the problem is need you need to do a lot of research to track this situation to track these kinds of opportunities. It's not something that's gonna drop into your lap. It's not something that you're just gonna, oh, I feel like I'm just gonna buy so-and-so and it's gonna go through the roof. It's, no, okay? You have to be able to be one of those people that can see long range what a situation is going to do in terms of help or hurt a company. 
Okay. So one of the biggest examples was Amazon. Okay. Back when it started. There were a lot of people that were like, oh yeah, no one's gonna even care about that stuff. No one wants to buy on the internet and things like that. But then there were people that looked at it going, people are getting busier and busier and being able to go to the stores is getting more and more difficult for some people because of our busy lives. Hey, that's a kind of good idea that that company has there. I think I'll buy in. And one gentleman they were talking about in particular, he bought in when Amazon was like $20 a share. And he's made like 4,000% profit because of it. He put his money in, he trusted, and he saw what, what the plan and the trend was gonna be, okay? But it's something you gotta research. It doesn't just drop in your lap. Okay, just that. Stocks go up and down naturally. Okay. Go up and down naturally. Okay. Because a stock is going down doesn't mean they're having a hard time necessarily. It's just maybe they're reorganizing. Maybe the trend for them has slowed down. So people are shifting to another area, but it doesn't mean they're done. Okay. There are two kinds of market. Kinds of market. Okay. The first kind is called a bull market. A bull market. Now, you guys know what a bull is, right? What is a bull? A bull is a great big male cow, and they're known for charging. They're known for advancing. They're known for, yeah. So a bull market is when stocks are trending up. So the market is growing. Okay, that's one kind of market. The other market is bear market. What are bears known for? other than walking around eating salmon. What are bears known for? Mm. Bears are known for hibernating, exactly. So a bear market is when the stocks are trending down. So the market is shrinking or slowing is what they call it, okay? But this is normal. There's gonna be times out of the year where it's growing, 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 growing. And then there's gonna be times when it's shrinking, shrinking, shrinking. And sometimes it's not all one or the other. Different industries might be going through their bear market while another industry is going through a bull market. Example, entertainment. <laughs> they went through a bear market this last year, right? No movies, none of that bear market. But delivery, ooh, bull market for delivery this year, right? So it kind of depends on what's happening in the world around us, okay? So there are times when everybody's gung-ho for technology stocks. So it goes into a bull market. But in another area, it might not be, be kind of slow. So it'll be a bear market. So it's not necessarily that it's all one or the other. 
different industries could be going through different phases. Now, what they look at though, when they say, oh, we have a bull market or a bear market, is they look at as a whole, is the volume increasing or decreasing okay, as a whole? Okay. <laughs> Back it up. Some companies pay dividends. Okay. Dividends are a percent of the company. Of the company's profit paid to investors at different times during the year. Now, some oops, I can't. So it could be quarterly that they give you some money. It could be semi-annually. What's that mean? How many times a year does quarterly happen? How many times a year does quarterly happen? Think about it. How many times would quarterly happen? How many times would they be paying you in a year? What does the word quarter mean as a number? Okay, so they'd be paying you four times a year if it's quarterly. How about semi-annually? How many times in a year? Twice, semi. Semi-circle, cuts in half, okay? Semi-annually is twice a year, or annually, which is just once in a year, okay? And what it is, is it's kind of a, they're paying you a little bit of the profit along the way. Partly, I think it's to encourage the investor to stay with them, because if you're getting a little bit along the way and you're recognizing a little bit of profit as you go, you're willing to let it stay there. So it kind of acts as an incentive to stay in their investment pool. You know, um, biannually means every other year. So it doesn't mean the same. It's crazy. I know, buy and some of you think they'd be, the, no. Buy means twice, which means two every two years. So if I'm biannually, it's every other year. Nice math word though. All right, so then the other thing is some companies do not pay dividends. so that all of the profit stays in the company and can be used to grow the company. Okay, so there's two, 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 two uh, frames of mind about it. By leaving the money in the company, the company will grow. What happens when the company grows? What happens if the company grows for the investor? The money invested grows too because the price of the stock increases. This The investor 
hopes the stock will increase because of the company's growth. Um, the price, sorry, of the stock because of the company's growth, okay? So your goal is you want growth. That's what you want to happen, growth. And to make growth happen, sometimes you gotta leave the money where it's at. Okay, so we need to go into the book. We have two figures we need to get out of the book that we're gonna add to this page. That's why I moved this onto a page that's new. So please make sure you put that one on the next page. We're going into the book, so get your book open. I gotta go get mine. Where's the quickest way to find the book? Pick the right account because I have too many. Where's the quickest way to find the book? Yeah, I forgot to put it on this week's agenda, so you got to go to last week's. I was cutting and pasting and I left that part off. Oh, it's because it's still showing I'm in my other account. This is the part I hate. No, I want to be in the right drive. This is not the right drive. This is. The trials and tribulations of teachers. Too many drives. Let me go get it. 